Welcome to the Wrestling Report. First up today, we have something that could land WWE in serious legal trouble. It is reported that over 50 former WWE superstars have banded together in a class action lawsuit against WWE. The basis for this suit is that the company failed to care for wrestlers' repetitive head injuries in any medically competent or meaningful manner. Pretty much, the superstars are saying WWE didn't properly care for its wrestlers, and that also the company refuses to acknowledge wrestlers as employees, but instead as independent contractors. This is apparently done to avoid any blame when it comes to the situation at hand. There are some recognizable names that are part of this suit, such as Chavo Guerrero, Ahmed Johnson, Sabu, Mohamed Hassan, Marty Jannetty, Jimmy Snuka, and Road Warrior Animal to name a few. WWE has responded to the allegations, saying that the suit is a ridiculous attempt by an attorney well known for making false accusations against WWE, and that they're sure the suit will be dismissed just like the others. Only time will tell, but with this much support behind it, the WWE could be in a bit of trouble here. Next, we have news on the WWE Champion. This will have spoilers for last night's Raw, so if you haven't already watched it, you may want to come back after you have. Anyways, after last night's controversial main event, Seth Rollins was seemingly awarded the WWE Championship by Stephanie McMahon. However, after Raw went off the air for most, it continued on the WWE Network, where the referee reviewed the tape and declared Dean Champion by way of draw. Now where things get even more interesting, Shane McMahon announced that tonight on SmackDown Live, Dean Ambrose will defend his title against Seth Rollins once again. This means there's one more opportunity for Rollins to win the belt and walk into Battleground as WWE Champion, but I personally don't see that happening. Let me know what you think below. And that's about it for today's wrestling report. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.